Well, here we had an unexpected stop. We're at the Burlington Center, which home this is home to the Cinema One, one of my favorite uh, physical media stores. So we're gonna check it out, see if they got anything cool. Because I'm not really in the rush of anything, because I know I'm gonna get Dune and Halloween on 4K. But I just got a job, got a little bit of money, so I'm excited to see what they have in store. As we pull up, sale, sale, sale. What do you think is on sale? Any, any cool things on sale? Doesn't seem like it. But, uh, check it out. Seems like they do have a sale going on. Air Force One, 16 bucks, not bad. Fire on out, 20 bucks, not bad. Some good deals. 16 bucks. Let's see, that's why I'm not tempted to get the whole set because I can just get that. And it'll be set. Say fifteen dollar movies, not bad. Sounds good. I came on a good day. It's 19, that's not bad at all. Is this the first one? This is the first one. This is the 4K section. We have some, some box sets on sale. So that's pretty dope. It's just nothing I want. I recently just got this, Kali was like. But they got a lot of good stuff. See, they got Arrow Video 4Ks and everything. This place is sick. Dead and buried. I heard a lot of people say this is their best. A lot of people said this is the best of the year last year. The Dead and Buried. See, I remember when these were. These, I remember we had to go all the way to Brampton to get these. Now they're just sitting around. Kind of just sitting around. Well, I, get, I want to get this. This is my favorite one. Have you ever seen the first Mad Max movie? No. Have you ever seen the first Mad Max movie? It's a regular movie. It's really black and white. Though. It's not black. No, it's Ooh. Oh, jeez. That's a little loose disc. That's a pickup. Let's see. Let's see. All on sale. Twenty-four dollars. That's not bad. Down ten dollars. But I heard the uh, this the quality isn't the best, so you get the standard one maybe. They come in different quality. Yeah, this is a, this is four K quality. Yeah. Something like this is ten eighty P quality. So this is HD. This is full HD, yeah. and this is ultra HD. That's all. Hey, but I like how they even have like boutique items like this, the New York Ripper. I don't like this movie. It was a bit too goofy for my taste. It's about a killer who kills a uh, promiscuous woman, and his tagline is that he sounds like Donald Duck. So he'll call the police and do a Donald Duck impression, which is very silly. It's a bit out there, but the Mule, Clint Eastwood. Mortal Kombat, 29 bucks, that's not bad. For a new movie, well not new, but. Dang, all that for a slip cover. I just spent a lot of money on that. Uh, I steal one. Oh nice, look at this. A zombie, 59. How good is this 4K gonna look, honestly?
ready for. Yeah, there's no pressing this one. Is, I'm guessing it didn't come out on um, 3D. Did it? No, yeah. uh, Disney doesn't have Disney. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we are back in the safety and security at home. Got a bag of Blu rays. And uh, yeah, um, sorry about not uploading. Uh, this is the longest I've gone without uploading. One of the reasons why is because I've just, I just I haven't had you know the idea of what to record. And second off, I kind of got a. I got this, the Oculus Quest 2, or technically the Meta Quest 2, and I've been playing a shit ton of that, so uh, that's been kind of reverting my attention, as well as my job, right, so I do graphic design, and I, I uh, edit and do flyers and stuff like that, but thankfully, uh, I was going on a little drive, and uh, I was I found out that uh, Sun One was pretty nearby, and I got some, some good movies. Number one is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I know this is a good transfer. Um, this was the one that made people were like, "Oh, maybe the uh, his catalog releases will look really good." Uh, but again, a movie made on film, I believe 4K DI and all that stuff uh, should be really interesting to rewatch. Uh, I couldn't film too much in the store. It, there was no music, so it felt very awkward. I know I usually I'm I'm, I'm happy when there's no music because there's no copyrights. But there's you know there's like two people in the store that were employees. It was just me and my dad and. You know some other person and like the 4k section is like right next to the actual counter so i'm just like filming and recording i, I did as much as possible but uh yeah so number one is the once upon a time in hollywood i heard it's a good transfer a good 4k and the reason why it's already open was because the other one had a loose disc both of these had loose discs the other copy so we just opened it up we, we uh, checked and compared the uh the different discs and this one had the better of the two so I was, I needed to switch discs. I asked him if that was possible, and he said, "Yep." And uh, boom! And I like how nowadays it comes already sealed, so I don't have to go like this. I can just click it in. Boom, bop, boom, bop, bada, bop, 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 and then it's all the way in there. So before I break this goddamn, you know, screw. I'll just who cares? There you go, secure. And lastly, this one was the pickup of the day. Now, I know if you're in Amer if you're in the United States down below, you're like, oh, this is my local Best Buy. Yeah, well, we never got these. I still need to get, um, what's it called? Clockwork Orange on 4K. I need that so badly. Uh, maybe one day when I'm big enough, I'll ask you guys for it. <laughs> I'm joking. But anyways, uh, number one is the Silence of the Lambs, the Kino Lorber 4K. I remember pre-ordering this on Amazon, funnily enough, and uh, it never arrived or never showed up. And it just re refunded me for some reason. I was like, what the hell? So, uh, yeah, I think it came out in November, late October, early November, I think. And so I'm kind of glad it did cancel my order because then I was able to spend more on Black Friday. But uh, a Kino Lorber release, uh, I'm really excited to get into this. And uh, I was tempted to either get this or the Criterion Collection. But I know this one has a, a better HDR. I heard the, the the sharpness itself is okay. It's 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 basically the same as a Criterion. But yeah, Criterion does a lot of uh, they do a lot of good restorations when it comes to their standard Blu-rays. But I'm glad this came with a slip cover as well, and it was twenty dollars cheaper than the Criterion, so you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, so yeah, those are my pickups of the day. Again, sorry I haven't been uploading. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know down below. Do you guys have these movies? Are they good? Um, I haven't seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I, I kind of was like with the crowd where it's like, oh, they kind of disrespected uh, Bruce Lee, but it's okay anyways. Yeah, so those are the pickups of the day. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I was able to get this for 19 bucks because usually here in Canada, it's about like, like a lot of people are selling it for upwards of 36 to $46. If you've seen my other hunting videos, uh, click the link. Uh, I have a whole Blu-ray uh, playlist. Uh, these this this copy of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood usually goes for a lot of money and it doesn't even have a slip cover on it. And then again for this one, uh, it was highly sought after. The store itself got it that day, like I think not at that a couple like a week ago they got these. This was the last copy, so thankfully I was able to pick it up. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching the video. Please remember leave a like and subscribe. If you guys like physical media, uh, hunting videos, uh, 4K reviews, so thanks so much for watching the video on IMAs for the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Stay safe and God bless, guys. Cheers.